Okay, so on 9th February, Kanye West dropped Vultures 1 and that album actually shadowed every album that was dropped on the same day. And I'm talking about Usher's Coming Home. He made a huge comeback with this album and I am seeing nobody, not even you Anthony, talking about this album. Let's talk about Coming Home. Let me be very real with it. This album is strictly, I mean strictly, with the old school R&B lovers. And it is also for those people who love the old version of R&B but need it little modified in a new format that talks about modern era shenanigans. It's that album. This album is for you. This album has 20 songs in it. 2020. That's a lot. I think Usher was trying to fill his absence with these many songs. And I love it. The more the merrier. When I said this album is for the old school people only because I meant it. Usher came back. But he came back with the same tools that he used back in the day. And you guys know the evolution that is in the music industry and the way it is pacing up. Usher needs a lot to catch up. And that's why this album is way far away from the modern R&B album. If you love Confessions from the Usher, you're right at home with this one. Let me tell you who really should try this album. Give it a good year. If you mildly love R&B or you ever heard little of the R&B back in the day and you loved it or just, you know, just liked it or just found it okay, listen to this album. Or if you have a date with your girl and you guys really do that album listening thing for a date, this is just the album that you need. It's lovely. It's lovely. Because this album is filled with hormones that will make you feel a lot of emotions. Usher did not miss in that thing. And speaking of not missing, there was no missing in the mixing of the songs. There was no missing in the words of the song. There was no missing in the similes of the song and the metaphors of the song. There was no missing in at all. The only critic about this album is... I felt the songs, the topic of the songs, the context of the songs felt very repeated. The album starts with well, quite a mature song with 21 Savage. The song was very mature, like they were okay with the girl moving on and I liked it. Like, this was something I would never expect from 21 Savage to be very honest, but he said it. And that was eyebrow raising. I was like, whoa, good. But then the songs progress in this album. Then Usher was trying to move on. But on whomsoever he lands, he just wanted to miss his ex. He was trying to make love to another girl, but he was thinking of his ex. Then he fumbles in a major way and then he goes back to his ex for a reconsideration. But that does not happen. Girls don't play like that, you know. So what happened? He was mature at the start, but then he fumbles. Then he acts immature. Then he hurts the healing process and then he tries to move on in the clubs and night parties doing the same old Usher thing. By the way, I heard Usher impregnated many women last night in the Super Bowl. Is that true? Coming back to the topic and this thing repeats itself all the time. There was a lot of storytelling in the songs. Every song was a decent song like two hooks, three verses. That is a lot. At this time, at this era, when songs are hardly more than two and a half minutes, this guy was delivering three verses, two chorus, three chorus in one song, which is three minutes long or three minutes minimum. That's a lot. And if you're listening to this album when you're on a date with some girl, Man, emotions are going to be flying. This part of Usher actually impressed me a lot. We know that Usher uses autotune on his voice, but that's not all. In this album, he was playing with different voices, the same throat, the same damn throat. He was using the same damn throat and he used a lot of voices. A lot of voices, including the voices that were used that had autotune on it. Different spectrums of personalities and I was literally acknowledging every personalities that is corresponding to that voice. Different personalities, different voice, I was loving it. But if you're listening to this album in one stretch, the topic gets very repetitive and it gets boring. I told you he came with the same old bag of tools and tools were rusty. Sometimes I felt rustic, sometimes I felt nostalgic, sometimes I feel, ah, no, this shit is corny. So let me know what do you felt while listening to this album. For me, this album is quite decent for a 20 songs album. But if we haven't been stationary on one feeling of love and moving on and added more dynamics of emotions, relationships and problems and stories and whatnot, this album would have been a top-notch album for me. Anyway, this album is not that bad and this is what I rate this album. Hey, follow for more such content.